surgical technique for toric IOL alignment and centration. For astigmatism, limbal relaxing incisions are good, but limited in their power. Toric IOLs can precisely correct larger degrees of astigmatism. Toric IOLs and other lenses work best, though, when placed in the visual axis. The center of the cornea is not typically the center of the pupil, and the center of the pupil is closer to the visual axis. The topography and the corneal astigmatism is based on the visual axis, which is closer to the center of the pupil. This is not lined up with the center of the cornea. So if we use limbal markings at 12 and 6 with a pen or the Mendez gauge, we may achieve good meridian alignment, but poor IOL centration. There's a better way. This axis and centration marker mounts in a slit lamp microscope and you note the precise degree gauge on its side. It also has a hollow core which allows centration of the marks within the pupil and close to the visual axis via direct view. This makes things nice and easy. The marks are placed here on the cornea in the correct meridian and centration. So the toric lens is now well centered and at the correct meridian. The lens tends to stay in this position. At the microscope, we see the three dots of the Acrosoft toric lens. If you focus the microscope up, we'll notice the corneal stromal puncture marks at the correct axis and centration. The toric IOL dots are nicely aligned and centered with these marks. We have a caps rexus edge which overlaps the lens for stability and we removed all the viscoelastic. Again, as the patient fixates on the microscope light, the toric IOL is noted to be aligned and centered. And these Acrosoft toric lenses will stay in this correct position. The interrupt photo shows the toric IOL marks are aligned with the axis of astigmatism as well as the visual axis. This gives optimal visual results. Patients are happy and so are the surgeons.